Hello, hello to our student teachers. Today's session will continue by discussing about physics for yes, the SME. Today's lesson is about the first unit, which is sound waves. The lesson for today is production of stationary sound waves. Production of sound wave. A sound wave is the pattern of disturbance caused by the movement of energy traveling through a medium, such as air water or other liquid or solid matter as it propagates away from the source of the sound. Sound in pipes. The source of any sound is vibrating object. Almost any object can vibrate and hence be a source of sound. For musical instrument, the source is the set into vibration by striking, plucking, bowing or blowing. Instrument that produce sound. The most widely used instrument that produce sound wave make use of vibrating strings such as violin, guitar, and the piano, or make use of vibrating columns air such as flute, trumpet, and pipe organ. St standing or stationary wave. Standing or stationary wave are the superposition of two waves moving in opposite direction each having the same amplitude frequency and are produced and the source vibrates at its natural resonant frequencies. A tube of length air with two open ends. A tube of length air with two open ends is a tube which has anti-node at its open end where node is taken as closed end. A tube of length air with two open ends an open pipe is one which is open at both ends. The length of the pipe is the distance between consecutive antinodes. The lowest frequency produced by any particular instrument is known as fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency is also called the harmonic of the instrument. Fundamental frequency of standing wave in a tube of length with two open ends. This is what we call fundamental frequency. As we said, fundamental frequency it is the lowest frequency for a tube which is opened at both ends. We will have antinode and antinode for open ends. This is what we call fundamental frequency for a tube which is open at both ends or is known as first harmonic. For first harmonic, or fundamental frequency, the length of a tube in terms of wavelength equals to the wavelength of a tube. It means that if the tube for fundamental frequency is doubled, its length must be equal to the wavelength. Harmonics and overtones for open pipe. Fundamental frequency it is the lowest frequency of the tube for open pipe where the wavelength equals to 2L and frequency equals to velocity over 2L. This is the first overtone or the second harmonic. This is the third harmonic or the second overtone. This is the third overtone or fourth harmonic. For first overtone, length of the tube equal to the wavelength and frequency equal to V over L. For second overtone, with volume equal to, to L over 3. In a few, today's lesson is discussed about for a tube which is open at both ends. We know that the fundamental frequency is also the first harmonic where the length of the tube equal to the wave volume of a two. For first overtone or second harmonic, the length equal to the wave volume or the frequency F2 equal to, to F1. For third harmonic or second overtone, F3 equals to 3F1. Or, and L equals to 3 wavelength over, over 2. Thank you for the lesson today. We shall meet next time by looking about a tube which is closed at one end. Thank you for watching. See you next time.